In this video, I'm going to show how to code in C++ using header file .h and .cpp files in multiple files. To simplify this problem, I'm actually going to adopt the calculation of lift and drag on aircraft. If you want to find lift and drag equation, just go to NASA website. To simplify this video, I decided to use someone YouTube video because they calculate the same thing, but they use hand calculation. So you can go to their YouTube video if you want to see it further. However, I'm going to start. Okay, so I usually plan how I code because I get used to code in a very large data set, which really confusing if I actually only use one main CCP file. And I usually start by splitting different type of data into classes. For this problem, pressure or row is the type of data that do not change. However, in a real life, pressure usually calculated based on the altitude. So different altitude will have different pressure because of the air density, but I'm not going to go into details because I'm not teaching aerospace engineering subject. And the other type of data that I usually put in a constant data class is usually the conversion type of data such as feet to meter and then grid to radians. But for this problem, we won't need it. And the second class that I'm going to create is the general data. So the last one is the main.cpp file that I'm going to edit to call the commands or to run the program. So if you don't know how to create this file, I can show you how to create it. However, earlier I created all the three classes. So if you want to create the header files automatically, just go to the main folder and then right click, click new, C++ class, and then it's going to pop a window that you can name your class that you want, but I'm not going to add it because it's going to give me a problem on my CMake because I've done all of the three. So you just put the name, and then when you click OK, it's going to be added to the CMake automatically. So let's cancel that, but you know how to make it. Right, so let's open constantdata.h and also constantdata.cpp. Let's put it side by side. So when you open your constantdata.h, it will automatically have the line four and five, as well as the line 13 that I highlighted automatically. So for me, I don't touch them. And the only thing that I'm working on is usually the class. So the class name will be the same with the file name. And in the constant data.cpp, it will automatically have include constant data.h. So you don't really need to do anything. So I've done this earlier and I don't really want to type it one by one. So I set the variable public and then static for the pressure or row. And uh, I also make sure that I set it to extern. Extern will allow other module to access it. So men will be able to access this data and then general data will be able to access the file from constant data using extern. Let's move on to the constant data.h. You only need to type that constant because it is a constant data and then double the type and then constant data dot dot row. This is the class. So from the class, call it from the class and then dot dot row and then equal to whatever the value. However, because I'm using power, I have to include CMath. And then now it is working. 
So if I saved and then actually earlier I completed all of the coding and okay, let's close this. And then in the general data, it is very similar. So you just need to set it public. So I put it side by side so it's easier to see. Make sure you add include IO stream as well. Set also to extern for all of the variables. And then in the general data.cpp, you just need to list the value. So I usually put the unit as well. So this is the values. So for the calculation class, it looks different to the previous class because it has function, like two functions. I call it functions or method. Set it as public as well. And also, if you want something private, you want to list, you can as well. But I leave it as is because I don't need anything private. So in a calculation.cpp, you have to add general data.h as well as constant data because you pull the data from the general data as well as constant data. So you have to call it and then you have to include cmatch because it has power. And then you type the calculation and then you just type double and then the equation and then return the equation. It's the same for drug force. And from here, then open the main.cpp file. As usual, put include IO stream. If you use C++, you know about this library. And then make sure you include calculation.h because you want to call the data from the calculation header file and then call the, all the data from the calculation.h and .cpp as well using calculation and then asterisk and then make another name calculation any name this is like any name however to distinguish it put the capital in the front so you know how the linked from this line to the next line. And after that, you put doubly force arrow. So the arrow sign is to access the element of the structure. So I actually copy it from the internet, how to explain this, but I understood how I use it. Then you can print what is the totally force and then doing the same to the drug force, right? And then just put return zero and then reload CMake project because sometimes it has problem and then run it. So this is the result of the leaf force and drug force of the calculation. So if I actually pull the YouTube video, of the calculation earlier, the result is the same. So 2677.5 pound force and then drug force is 335 pound force. And it is actually rounded. Anyway, I hope it helps. And actually it is helping me to practice how to explain something that is so long and at the same time i actually try to create a video this actually take me ages anyway see you next time 